All right, so every bucket that comes in should have a liner used in it. Um, every time I swap out a bucket, they get a lid, clean liner, clean bucket. So as you can see, stuff in the bucket, in the liner, makes it easier to clean the buckets. But I think um, some people might be wondering if the larvae eat these, that's backwards, uh, eat these bio bags. Um, and they don't, I'll demonstrate to you what happens, um, what happens to the bags. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's like they, the bags get licked clean. Um, but I'll show you, um, the, um, bags as I drop them in and then within 24 hours I'll do an update and then I'll show you what I really do to get rid of the bags. Okay I'm in the larva room and I have a bin here queued up ready to demonstrate the used bio bag result. So I'm going to drop in a couple really gross bags here into this bin and after 24 hours show you what the result is. Um, the bio bags that I use are BPI certified, so they will break down in the compost pile under the correct temperatures. Um, and they just disintegrate beautifully and turn into a beautiful compost. And I make sure to use the uh, BPI certified because otherwise, honestly, if a product says compostable, you have to still look at it a little uh, warily because it could use PFAS, it could use forever chemicals, and that is a growing concern in the composting world. And um, I'm trying really hard to stay ahead of that. So make sure to use BPI certified things that compost properly and break down into a quality product. Um, it will probably cost more, but that's, that's just what it is. Um, and we have to value those things because our future is valuable and we shouldn't have to jeopardize it um, with shoddy material. So anyway, uh, going to pick out some gross, gross bags here. I got the glove one and uh, drop those into this and I'll report back. All right, here's the first gross bag. Uh, seems kind of wet, has lots of gross residue. Look how shiny and gross. I'll do another one. And we'll do, we'll do three. So this, here we are, this is the before. Um, you can see the larvae are already kind of excited. You can practically hear their screams of joy. They're honestly not gonna be super excited about these bags because there's not much caloric value here for them. But um, it's still a fun little experiment to demonstrate. So I'll show you the results in uh, the next clip. All right, so this is a couple hours after the bags went into the bin here. And you can see they're just everywhere. Cleaning it out good. All right, 24 hours after the bio bags went into the larva bin here. This is what this is what we're working with. So I'm just now picking these out for the first time today. Um, so yeah, what you'll see, they're pretty cleaned off. Um, 
they got a little discolored kind of like a pea green color now and just yeah like they'll perforate the bag that's really all they'll do they don't break down so they these bags will end up going out uh, into the compost they break down so great out there um, the compost pile gets nice and hot so these just melt away <laughs> <laughs> kind of wild. So there it is. holding it, but that'll be all right. There's two right-hand gloves. 